Hi, I am Renmark, and welcome to our video tutorial about Java programming. In this video, we will talk about the course introduction of Java. About this tutorial, before we formally start our lesson proper, let me give you a simple walkthrough kung ano ang mga magiging expectations ninyo during the span of these tutorials. This tutorial is all about Java programming. Since Java is a programming language, it is recommended that you have a prior knowledge and understanding on how a program works. And what is a programming language? Because the topics that we will going to cover are a little technical and baka mahirapan kang makasunod if wala ka kahit konting background knowledge sa programming. Hopefully, after kung matapos itong mga Java tutorial videos natin, ay makagawa ulit ako ng mga video na kagaya ng IT Fundamentals or Introduction to Computing para do sa mga viewers natin na zero background talaga pagdating sa programming or IT in general. The tutorial will be delivered in Taglish so that Filipino students will better understand each topics. Since ang primary target audience ko naman talaga ay mga Filipino IT students, I decided to do these tutorials in Taglish para mas madaling maintindihan ng mga viewers yung mga topics na aking i-discuss. On the other hand, English captions will be included later on. Hopefully, kasi medyo busy din ako sa work, software developer ako ng morning yung from 8am to 5pm, then IT instructor naman ako sa gabi. And this kind of work can really make me too busy to the point na baka hindi ko kasi maasikaso ang paglalagay ng mga English captions. Don't worry, for those viewers who can't comprehend Taglish, the textual information displayed on these slides are already in English. Only the comprehensive explanations will be further expressed in Taglish, so I think we're good. Since the primary target audience are IT students, only basic to intermediate topics will be covered in these tutorials. Unlike the other programming tutorials that can be found on YouTube, this tutorial is patterned very closely dun sa kung ano yung mga lessons or topics na posibleng makover sa loob ng school. Although, kahit na nakapattern yung format ng mga tutorials natin sa mga IT-related courses, always remember that these tutorials are not only limited to students. Anyone who are eager to learn the basics of Java programming is welcome to watch these tutorials. Even para sa mga out-of-school youth na mga IT enthusiast na interesadong matuto ng programming, as long as may internet access ka to watch these videos, pwedeng-pwede at welcome na welcome ka dito. These tutorials are designed as a supplemental materials for students to boost their knowledge and interest in programming in general. The real reason kung bakit ako nag-a-attempt gumawa ng mga video tutorials gaya nito is because madami pa din akong nakikita mga sudyante na nahihirapan sa kanilang mga programming subjects. Ang primary goal ko is matulungan silang i-boost ng kanilang confidence sa pag-aaral lalo pa yung mga may course na IT related. Hopefully, after watching all of the videos na ginawa ko para sa inyo, eh mas maintindihan nyo yung mga lessons na itinuturo sa inyo sa loob ng school. Yes, mahirap ang programming, pero we should always find ways to simplify things. And when you finally understand the concepts, then kahit anong bagong programming language pa yan, eh makakasabay na kayo for sure. Again, it's all about understanding the concepts. Activities and challenges will be included in these tutorials as a way of self-validation whether if the viewer have learned something or not. 
Bale, at the end of each discussions, like in a classroom setup, I will give you some activities and challenges na pwede ninyong subukan. Just to make sure na nagets nyo yung mga naging lesson natin. I suggest you pause the video, then try to do the activities ng hindi dinadaya syempre. Unlike school, tayo dito ay non-graded. So if that dayain mo pa, yung mga ginagawa natin, eh literal na niloloko nyo na lang yung mga sarili ninyo kapag kaganon. Kaya naman, I strongly suggest that you will treat these activities as challenge and self-validation kasi wala naman kami mga teachers dyan to personally validate and monitor your progress. Finally, after yung matapos yung binigay kong activity, we can then compare yung outputs natin if tama ba ang mga nagawa ninyo. If by chance na hindi man tayo magkaparehas ng source code pero the program works and behaves exactly the same do sa binigay kong mga requirements, then tama pa din yung mga ginawa ninyo. Always remember that there are no single possible code for a particular problem. And lastly, please support the channel by watching these tutorials directly from YouTube. I guess, for now, that's all I can say. The next video is the start of our lesson proper, Chapter 1, Java Overview. Again, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day ahead and God bless. If you love this video, kindly drop a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.